Hey guys, welcome to Created for This. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm Danielle Roberts and I'm a business manager and strategist and a mentor for Christian business owners. Now, I'm so excited that you guys are joining me. <laughs> Thank you for uh, listening in and for those watching on YouTube for watching me talk. Uh, I'm sure it's pretty entertaining sometimes. Um, but I'm so thankful to have this this way to talk to you guys and to encourage you and speak into your lives. Um, it's, it's always amazing to me the ability that God has given me to, um, to touch you guys and to speak into your lives every week. Um, so today we are going to talk about who you are allowing to have influence and speak into your life. Now, this topic comes from a conversation with a girlfriend who was working on her website, thought she had it all perfect, thought that it was great, and it was meeting the specifications that somebody else had told her that she should have on her website and things that she should do. And then she talked to somebody else, and they're like, well, why are you doing it that way? why don't you do it this way? And so she was kind of in a tizzy because she was like, oh my gosh, like they're telling me to do this. I should be doing it this way. And I was like, okay, hold the phone here. Who are you going to allow to influence you? Who are you going to let into your sphere of influence? And how are you picking those people? Um... I don't know who she ended up going with. I don't know what she ended up doing, but um, it's it's just so interesting to me how when we're working on things, when we have a new offering, when we are discovering what we want to be doing even, um, so many people have so many different opinions. And we need to be discerning. Um, we also need to figure out who we're going to allow to speak into our lives and who the people are that are going to be our circle of influence and then who we're going to create boundaries around to keep out. So my sphere of influence is my husband because he's my husband like you know probably should listen to him um and then a couple of my girlfriends who I've been in business with um not like we own a business together but we've been in the business circles together um they're christian women they I I trust them I know that they are seeking god for wisdom and I'm allowing them to speak into my life and into my business. Um, really, there's no difference between life and business. So they're one and the same. But if there's other people who have opinions or ideas or they might be telling me things out of love, in quotation marks, um, but they don't match up with the Bible and they don't match up with the direction that my business is going, I have to build a boundary and say, well, thank you for your opinion. Thank you for what you're portraying or what you're telling me. But I'm not listening to that. Um, and I'm not accepting it. Those are just difficult things to decide, difficult things to have to say to people. Um, when we build our circle of influence, we want to know that they are people who have your best intention in mind. People who match up with what you want to be doing and align with your values and your mission. Um, my, my circle is very, there's very few people in my circle who I would trust completely to listen to what they have to say. Um, and that's not saying that you have to have a very small circle. 
Maybe your circle's a little bit bigger, but I think that you really, really, really need to determine who it is that you're allowing people or that you're allowing into your life. Um, and then, you know, graciously saying, well, thank you for your opinion. Um, but take that and measure it against what other people say and move on. Um, in the situation with my friend, I advised her to think very, very closely or very, not closely, um, think very highly of the people who she is trusting, um, and to really build, build out that idea of who she's trusting with her business so she knows who to not trust and who not to listen to because there are so many people that will have opinions and they're not always going to be the best opinions or they're not going to be opinions that matter to what we want. Now saying that, um, we can look at the Bible and see all of the times in Proverbs when they talk about listening to wise counsel, listening to people who are wise, um, seeking out wisdom and building a business or building a life based on wisdom versus being a fool, being a foolish person, um, and going from there. So that is what I have to say on that topic. Um, but maybe you're questioning, Danielle, how do I find those people? How do I build relationships that I can trust? Because maybe you don't have anybody in your life that you can trust. Maybe you don't have a husband that you want to listen to. Um, that's a different topic for another day. <laughs> um, because we should respect our husbands. But maybe you're single. Maybe you don't have good girlfriends that you can trust. My advice would be to find a group of Christian women online. Facebook makes it super, super easy to have a group of women be of the same values. Um, so that's a great place to start. And um, there's, you know, good Christian groups that you can join. There are other in-person meetups that you can maybe search for, or if you can talk to somebody at church in your, in your church, um, that would be a good place to start. I also have a mastermind that's going to be opening up at the end of May, um, which I think is the first time that I've talked about it, that I actually have like a definitive start date. Um, when end, end of May is not, it's not like an exact start date. But um, if you are looking for a group of women who believe the same thing, who are interested in their business, in growing in Jesus, in being a Christian CEO, come and check out my mastermind. Um, I will be sending out more information in my email list. So if you go to my website, daniellemroberts.com, you'll find the opt-in to sign up to get new information about the mastermind when it starts. So um, I'm, I, I did a mastermind last fall and I'm taking the lessons that I learned from that one and making it more about relationship, making it better um, connection time, making it better just in a couple different ways. So I'm super, super excited about it. If you really are seeking a group of women who enjoy that um, and are longing for that as well, I highly recommend you check it out um, and, and just talk with me and see um, if, if it's a good place for you, if it's a right fit. And I hope, I hope it is. I hope it's something that you can benefit from um, and that it does become a place where you can find women who can influence you and influence you in the, the right ways. Um, so that 
I think is, I think that's all I have to say on this topic. I wanted to make it super short, sweet, um, be, just be cautious, I think is, is the final word that I want for you today. Um, and decide who it is that you're going to listen to and the people that you're going to listen to, draw them close. Um, ask them to help you and also um, pray for them. Pray that they have wisdom too because they're, they're going to be influencing you and speaking into your life as well. So that is what I have for you guys today. Have a great day. Have um, so much joy in owning your business. And um, I look forward to hearing your guys' stories about creating boundaries and, um, and really digging into who you want to influence you so that you can be a wise and smart and very successful business owner. Um, so yeah, have a great day and I'll talk to you later. Bye.